This video is meant for the educational purpose. Please ensure you understand the step before using any script. The goal is to help you to learn how to complete the lab effectively while following the quick lab turns and services and YouTube community guidelines. I'm back to the channel and I hope you guys are doing absolutely fine. This lab is just recently updated so here is updated solution for this lab. So first of all just me log in with your credentials and once you're done with that just me come back over here and now here just me search for the vertex AI. Just me wait click over here wait for a second and then just me click on this workbench over here like this way. Now just me click on this open Jupyter lab. It will take a couple of seconds to launch a Jupyter notebook. Meanwhile, in the description box of this video, I will share one GitHub link. Just me click on that link and then you are able to access this file over here. Okay, now what you do, you have to just me click on this download button over here and download this file to a local system. So as you can see, it's done. Now just me come back over here, wait for a second now. Now here you can see Gemini Explore Challenge file. Just me right click over here and then click on this delete button over here. Like this way. Just me wait and it's gone. Now just me click on this upload button and just me upload the file which is just downloaded from my GitHub repo. So just me click on this open and it's uploaded over here. Now just me double click over here like this way. Okay. Now what you do, we have to make two changes. So just me scroll down over here and from here you can see project ID and the location. So just me come back to the lab instructions and from here you can see this project ID. So just me copy that, come back and replace over here very carefully like this way. So it's done. Now for the location, just me copy this region, come back over here and replace over here like this way. So it's done. Just simply make sure that there is no extra space between this inverted comma. Okay, so it's done now. Now just me scroll up. Now if you are using a Jupyter notebook for the first time, so for running shell, we have to just me click on this play button over here. Or you can just simply hit shift and enter. Just simply make sure that your kernel status must be ideal. If your kernel status is busy, then you have to just simply wait. So just me click over here like this way and then just me hit shift and enter like this way. If we just me hover over here and from here you can see kernel status is busy and it's ideal now. Okay, so we are done with the first shell. Now what you do, we have to just simply restart the kernel. For that, we just simply have to run this shell. So just simply again hit shift and enter like this way. Wait for a second and it's done. You will get this kind of pop-up. Now just simply click on this OK over here and just simply hover over here. So as you can see, now our current status is ideal and it's stable also. So just simply hit shift and enter till end over here like this way. So as you can see, it's done. Now if you just me hover over here and from where you can see kernel status is busy and it's executing 10 shell. So just me wait. And it's ideal now. Now if you just me scroll up over here and from where you can see we didn't get any kind of error. Okay. Now if you just me come back to the lab instructions and click on the check my progress for each and every task, you will get a score without any issue. And if the score is not updated for any particular task, no need to worry about that. Just simply wait for a couple of minutes. This kind of lab take time to update a score. So don't worry about that. Just simply keep hitting on the check my progress and you will get a green tick over here for sure. So just simply wait and watch. And as you can see, it's done. As I said, lab take time to update score. So don't worry about that. Sometime what happened for you, you might have to wait for more than five minutes over here. But don't worry about that. Just simply keep hitting on the check my progress or you can just simply wait. Okay. And that's the way we have to complete this lab. If you still have any doubts, please do let me in the comment section. Thanks for watching and have a good day guys. Remember, this video is for educational purpose. Please make sure you understand the step and follow the quick lab terms and services and YouTube community guidelines.